Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Season 4, Episode 2 of the Bordeaux Career Mode here. Big episode planned, we got some uh, some historical departures. Got the first game of the League 1 season against Monaco. Then we will finish up our um, Champions, League, uh, Champions League qualifying stage tie against RB Salzburg and play another opponent. So last time, we won 2-1 against Salzburg. And we'll check who we signed and sold. So then I'll probably... Try and get through Stade de Rams, Monaco, those games today. PSG will be a big episode to come up against. We might even do them next episode, but um, before this video gets farther, be sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and join the Discord link in the description so that you can vote on our new left winger. Last episode we signed Kuzmans for free, sent out Torres and Vervoort on loan, Phil Jones and Onana left, Hatsabor, 30 million to Liverpool, big move there, Billy Gilmore. 34 million to OCG, OGC Nice, and the big one, Nordi Mukiele, our new right back, 60 million on the dot for the Frenchman. Recently signed with PSG in real life for an absolute steal, I believe it was like 14 million plus two in bonuses or something. Something crazy like that. But, um, so for this, for this next uh, left winger, right now we have about, about 70, 70, 73 million to spend. But we also are very close to reaching an agreement with uh, Udinese in Serie A to see Josh Majoli for around 50 million. So that'll be really sad to see, but um, cause he's been here since season one. He's been doing great, so we'll miss him. But uh, being a new winger, got a couple of guys there Lookman, Dorami, and Coman, suggested by people in the Discord, so thank you for that. Noah Lang and Sinistera are also options. I think Noah Lang is my first choice, um, and then Coma on the second choice. Unfortunate to see that uh, Johannes Holmgren, Holmgren is the uh, Ibrahimovic region. He's not grown too well, which is sad to see. But um, I think I'm going to prioritize getting Noah Lang, but Kingsley Coman could also be uh, a good signing. So I'll put a poll in the Discord for you guys to vote once this video goes live, and uh, we'll see how these things go. But, um, First game of the season here, we're going to jump in against Monaco. We're going to do a little bit of uh, changing up the squad because we have some tired legs from our game against uh, uh, Salzburg. I think I'm also going to look uh, for a new back, for like a backup center back because we have Soleil, but we don't have, like, we only have three center backs in the squad, which is a little bit worrying. Um, I think we do have one in the academy, but uh, so maybe he could be the fourth center back, but still. If you have any uh, any options for a backup left-footed center back, please drop them in the comments or in the Discord. I'd love to see those. Um, I, I want to try Baptiste Bonhomme in the team. I think yeah, we'll put him in here. We can use Fabundo Fares, the winger. Monaco have Maxi Gomez up top with Crepin, yeah, Crepin Diata and Rafa Mir on the wings. Sandro Tonali is at left wing back. De La Cruz and Jacobs in the middle. Ishmael Lassar at right mid. Toloi, Botman, and Vezo are the three center backs, and Soraya is the goalkeeper. So interesting, some Chelsea tactics going on here with the attacking fullbacks, but, um, or attacking wingbacks. But, uh, on paper, you know, overall wise, it's actually a decent squad, as, uh, here comes Maxi Gomez, driving forward. Big challenge by Todibo. That's a lovely challenge. Wins the ball, sends his man to the ground. That's what you want. Now, Mukiele driving forward. He'll find Yassine Adli. Adli looking for the run of Santi Campos. He'll go alone here. Cut back. Give this one back to Maja. Now here's Kakashi. We'll look for runners in the box. We'll send this one in. Towards the far post. Ellis is there. And it's the signature move. You look for Albert Ellis arriving at the far post. Nine times out of ten he's there. Ten times out of ten he scores. We open the new 2024-25 campaign with our trusty Honduran getting the goal. Nothing unusual about that. As Diata will send this one out wide to Saar. Shmael Saar cuts inside and he finds Jacobs. Inside, one more. Big save by Lecomte. Sacrificing himself as he smashes his head into the post. That's a great save. De La Cruz will stand over this one. He'll take a short out to Shmael Saar. Into the middle. Looking for someone. It's a bit of a mix-up in the box here. Shot is blocked again. Another block shot. And now we'll try and just avoid another corner. They'll swing it back in again. Todibo clears it out to Maja. 20th minute here, Josh Maja. 
finds Yasin Adli. We're looking for a run here. They've got Santi Campos. It takes a favorable bounce here, and Santi Campos could be in. We'll cut inside on the right foot, takes a deflection. Near post, it goes in, and we lead 2-0 here at the Mahmoud Atlantique, the home opener. It's a very favorable bounce for the Spaniard. Santi Campos cuts it on his right, looking for the far post, but it takes a large deflection, and the keeper rooted to his spot here. It's off a of number six there, and goes, really, keeper should have saved that there, but uh, he has, and we'll take it. Santi Campos will go out wide to Josh Maja. It's a good ball in the box. We had two runners going in, but it was behind both of them, and now Monaco can counterattack in the 30th minute here. Rafa Mir driving forward, finds De La Cruz. He's got runners on either side. He'll go alone, looking for the overlapping run. Stop, turn, inside, finds Rafa Mir. Sitting off, he'll have a go. Instead, he finds Gomez. It's a good save by Lacombs again, Mr. Reliable. Nordi Mukiele still out with an injury. We're going to have to sub him off eventually, unfortunately. 60th minute here, run of the second half. Diazza tried to be played in there, but intercepted by Pembele, and Lacombe will get it out to Kakashi. Does well to keep it in. Upfield to Josh Maggio. Now driving at the defense. A couple of stepovers here. He'll go alone. We'll cut back to Guendouzi. Look for a little 1-2 here. Give and go. Campos finds Guendouzi. Looking to slide it across. No one is there. Cleared away. De La Cruz will try to get there. Rachic gets there first. Out wide. Pembele does well to keep it in. Whew. Man, no time to breathe this commentary. I'll tell you what. Albert Ellis now keeps it in. Pembele will look to swing it into the box. Vezo wins the header. But Campos Guendouzi is there. His header drags just wide. So close. But chances are plentiful. Now here is Ruben Vezo. It's a lovely ball upfield to Ashmael Asar. He'll get there first. Finds Rafa Mir. And now Monaco catch us on the counterattack. Rafa Mir were standing off. And it's an absolute thunderbolt by the former Sevilla man. Monaco have a goal back. You know, I hope in FIFA 23... The AI also grabs the ball, because, like, in real life, if you're losing 2-0 and you score, you're not going to celebrate. You're going to go and grab the ball so you can have more time to score again. Regardless, though, it's a lovely finish. We were just sitting off, expecting him to pass. He took it as a bit of an insult and said, fine, I'll have a go from distance. And it is a lovely goal from the Spaniard, I believe. Still, Santi Campos is clear. We know that for sure. Got him last year in the free agents list, and he has been nothing but quality since then. 75th minute, a two-goal lead turns into a one-goal lead, and we could see three points turn to one in the blink of a heartbeat as Baptiste Bonhomme is in here. Cuts inside around two. It's a lovely move by the Frenchman. I'll tell you what, this guy, he, he is good. 77 pace, it feels like 90, and he's got 90 strength, except he looks like Mini Minter, you know? Skin and bone, but he's physical. Love that. He's a great player. He's going to be super useful off the bench. I think I'll convert Farias to a left winger. But now final minute of this game. Rafa Mir just playing around with it. He gets the ball into the box here. Maxi Gomez smashes the post. And that game will end 2-1. Our first game of the season. A 2-1 win against AS Monaco. It's a good win. Santi Campos scored the second goal. Albert Ellis scored the first. Those are the guys you expect to be on the score sheet really. There he is. Santi Campos. Three attempts today. One goal, we will take it. Uh, we're going to this game against RB Salzburg. We're just going to sim it because sim with the B team as well. Odum in goal. Bravo, Soleil, Lukumi, and Alexandro make up the defense. Aspi and Orlan Prost make up the defensive midfield with Lenartz. Who is Lucas? Wait. Oh, wait. who is Lucas? I have no idea. Lenartz, Bailey, and Bonhomme. Oh, I think Lucas is Lucas Jolie. So Lucas Jolie on the left wing, Connor Bailey on the right, Baptiste Lenartz down the middle, and Baptiste Bonhomme up top. The thing I really like about this save, good save there by the Salzburg goalkeeper, they get it away, but the thing I like about this career mode so far is, um, cool, we score, alright. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna wait for it to go to 2 0, and then I'll quick cement, because, you know, we don't want to risk losing this. Um,. This crew mode, it's been going on for four seasons now, so we're really getting to see our best crew mode, uh, our best Youth Academy players get some chances, and they're really fun to use, you know. So thank you guys for, to keep supporting this, uh, this series here, giving me a reason to keep going, and it's, it's been a fun save. But, of course, this year, it's gonna be no fun, all grind. We're gonna try and get the treble, that's the goal, Champions League, Ligue 1, 
and the the cup, whatever it is. I think there might be actually two cups. I'm not sure. And then it'll be slided across. Orlin Prost gives us the double lead, 4-1 on aggregate. We jump two results. Prost missed a penalty in the 40th minute. Doesn't matter though. We dominated them on all. What's the saying? All cylinders? I don't know. We win. We're going through. I think our next opponent is Porto. So we will probably play the first leg of that one in today's episode as well. Bit of a longer episode. Dang. Josh Maja sold. 47 million is the fee. 41 goes to our pockets. It's sad to see. We need a moment of silence here for him. We're also going to need a moment of silence because, like, how the hell did we lose this game, you know? Like, what is that? This is the thing that sucks, is you can't quick sim any games. It's so random. You cannot quick sim anything, or else you're going to lose and you're going to mess up your uh, your title challenges. So that one hurts. It hurts even more to lose Josh Maja. But uh, we'll jump in with the B team here to start against Porto. You know, I'm confident in these guys. Overall-wise, they're not good, but if we're playing it, they're a really fun team to use. Uh, we'll get Farias over here ahead of Triore, just in case. Bakwas, Khan, Magnier. I want to use Magnier. He looks good. Bravo as well, someone I haven't used yet. Uh, we picked him up in the free agents list last year, a Spanish right back. And should we put Tahoud in here? I, I don't think so. And someone like Tahoud, he's great for like ro rotating the squad, but we have to ask ourselves, you know, if we sell this guy, we're looking at maybe 50 million into the bank. Um, so we get a lot of money for him, but without a focus on the task at hand here, Champions League qualifying round, Derek Ray and Stuart Robson, the commentators, but you won't hear them, you're going to hear me, because, you know, I'm ten times the commentator they are. Home game here at the Mahmoud Atlantique. Look at that. You know, you come here, you watch these games, you don't know what you're going to get, you know. But now, different lineup every single game, that's the goal, keep the opposition on their heels. We're going to look to put two or three past them this game, then we can do a comfortable sim game in the second leg. Porto, good squad historically. I don't know how they're holding up now. They have a good academy, so they could have some some good wonder kids that by season four have grown nicely. There's the lineup. You can see the captain is Cesar Azpiracueta. For Porto, Martinez and Taremi start up top with Nakajima, Oliveira, Costa, and Conche Sao. Make up the midfield. Sanusi, Cardoso, Leite, and Nanu. Make up the defense with Marci Shan in goal. Fabio Vieira, the new Arsenal man in real life, on the bench with Grujic, Conceição, Andrade, Pepe, Vendel, and Claudio Ramos. Those pronunciations were on point, by the way. And uh, a foul ref plays advantage. We will take that. It's a good position for a free kick. And we know our free kick specialist, Aulin Prost. If anybody knows how to pronounce his name, please tell me, because his first name is like a U, and it's like A E R U L I E N or something. But uh, we'll look to put this one right about there. I'm not sure if the keeper got a touch that, but it hits the bar regardless. Prost will have a second go, takes a deflection, scooped up by the Argentine for Porto. So he'll try for a quick restart. Pembele sends it forward, it's intercepted. This one all the way out wide to Conche Sao. Odum is coming up, look at that, fighting for the ball. And he wins the throw-in. What a play by the academy goalkeeper. Love the effort from him. Quick ball out wide to Lucas Jolie waiting for the overlapping run of Alexandro. There it is. We'll put this one right into the box. Cleared away only as far as Lucas Jolie. Finds Aspilicueta. Now Prost looks for the overlapping run of Jolie. Into the middle. It's way out by Lenartz. He'll cut inside. Looking for a shot. It's a good save, but he goes down after the shot is taken. It's a yellow card. For the captain, Sergio Oliveira, the question is, is it in the box? Or is it a free kick here? We'll have a look at the replay here. He goes down. That's close, you know. I don't know. I think that is a penalty. And indeed it is. But uh, that is about as close as it gets. Who is our... It looks like Prost is our penalty kick taker here. You know what we're going to do? Corners? Nah, we'll go right down the middle. Karim Benzema style. The Panenka catches him out. Have a look at that. The confidence from the young man, number 38, remember his name, 
Arlen Prost. What a dink. Cheeky as can be. The biggest of moments, he steps up cool as you like. Lovely finish. That might go down as a goal of the season contender. Just for the audacity here, as Taremi's got runners being made. He's going to look for none of them. Finds Conchiesel finally. Now here is Taremi. It's a good ball through to Costa. Hits the outside of the post. Big chance for Porto there to find the leveler away from home. But they can't hear his Costa again. Oliveira back to Costa on the half volley. Big save by our keeper, Remy Odum. First half stoppage time here. Martinez will look for the run of Nanu. I think he was off sides. Nanu gets there first across, and Taremi has the equalizer. I brought the keeper out because I was sure he was off sides there. Just look right there. It's Lakumi, John Lakumi, who plays him on. I didn't even see him on the screen there. Most definitely on sides. It's a great run by Nanu. The right back. Simple finish for Taremi. And we are level here. The scoreline really does not reflect how we've played. I'm going to be honest. But the uh, scoreline is all that matters. So we have a lot of work to do in the goal scoring department here. We're going to rely heavily on Baptiste Bonhomme. Lucas Jolie, Baptiste Lenartz, two Baptiste players, I just noticed that, and Connor Bailey. We need them to step up big today. Another great ball in. Conchie Sao, he's got to be off sides again. Martinez is there this time, and he might be on sides again. This is absolutely ridiculous. I am losing my head. What is going on here? Wait for the ball to be passed. Alexandro steps away, and I think again it's John Lakumi who plays him on. John Lacumi, the man who's played him on sides twice, is also the one who's raising his arm to call for offsides. Absolutely ridiculous. Our Colombian, two big mistakes, but also can't take it away from the fact that I'm playing like an idiot, bringing the keeper out there. Connor Bailey will look for the run of the far post to Lucas Jolie, and we are back in this game. It's a lovely volley. You can imagine the commentators in-game were loving it, even though it was, uh, you know, not the craziest of goals, but a volley nonetheless. The young Frenchman from the academy, full of potential, full of wonder, and he is a kid, so I'd call him a wonder kid with high potential. Great goal, we're level, but still lots of work to do. We want to get maybe one, two more in there. You can see the danger man, the Terminator, number 33, is on the field. Lovely move by Alex Bravo. Here he is, Fagundo Farias. He is inevitable. I tell you, who you think is going to the world? This man of Thanos, I tell you. Number 33 is deadly. He is clinical. He's got two threes on his back because he knows he'll be getting a double hat trick one of these days. Lovely finish by him on the tight angle. And here he is again, Fabuno Farias, driving past the defense. Cardoso is no match for him. Cuts inside. One more. Plays it across. Orden Prost. Too easy. We are breaking them down like a piece of ice. That probably wasn't the best metaphor, but it's all I can think of at the moment. Lovely move by Faria, silky smooth to just get around his defender, and it's a lovely finish by the central midfielder. Our maestro turns into the finisher, and here he is again, Faguna Farias spins his man around, and the audacious chip, it is something out of a poster. What a hit, son. Look at that. Spins his man, slips him to the ground. See you later. Keepers off his line, goes to punch it. It's ridiculous from the keeper. Terrible decision, but we'll take it. And this one's going to end 5-2. Three goals in the last 10 minutes or so. A late break has people punt this one forward. 5-2, the final score. Thank you all for watching. It's a great episode. Like the video. Subscribe if you're new. We have a lot more subscribers from my big video, the Barcelona video, YouTube short. So if anybody new here is watching, thank you so much for watching the video. It's been an honor. It's been an honor uh, to talk to you guys to record this video. Super fun. Please join the Discord. It'll be linked in the description. You guys can vote on who our left winger will be to sign Kingsley Coleman, Mohamed Darami, uh, Luis Sinistera, Noah Lang, or Adamola Lookman. One of the five. Whoever gets the most votes in the next five days or so will win, and I will go and sign them. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.